So over the last 10, 15 years, I've talked to a lot of property managers about why it's important to use videos at their management company. And Tim, you're a frontline property manager at Home Property Management, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about videos and days on market. Have you noticed a difference when a property has a video walkthrough tour uh, compared to our listings that might not have a video walkthrough tour as to which one rents faster? Uh, it's hands down the video walkthrough tour. Okay. Yeah, and a lot less uh, questions that can be answered from the video as well. The people that apply know what they're looking for and they go right for it. So, so uh, b b you know, I just got a whole bunch of great data yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. So, so we know the days on market goes down. Um, and then the showings, uh, since the days on market goes down, the showings go down. And the, what I noticed when I first started putting video walkthrough tours on my listings was that um, I, I, I didn't have to show them as often, and that when people did show up at the house, they would meet me in the front yard, they would be there early, so I wasn't getting stood up. <laughs> and they would say, look, I'm just here to make sure that it looks like the video, and I'm already gonna take it, as long as it looks like the video. Beginning a showing with somebody telling you that is a delightful showing compared to being stood up or somebody sticking their head inside and going, yeah, what else you got? I don't even like to, I don't need to see the whole thing. I don't like it, you know? And so, uh, so these video walkthrough tours rent faster, fewer showings, um, and you get more compelled applicants. You know, they, they're like, oh, I watched the video. I like your place. I want it, right? Um, what, what are some of the other advantages or reasons why video in the marketing are helping at home property management? Uh, yeah, so uh, another key piece to the videos is the um, our ability to pre-lease the property before it goes vacant. So our tenants require to give us at least 60 days notice before they vacate. In that 60 day period, you bet your butt this uh, video is out there ready. Tenants can get a walkthrough of the tour, walk the tour of the property um, before it's made available. Mm -hmm. And so it's more convenient to our renters that are currently in place with less showings and people coming through. Uh, and it also helps show the property and the condition that they'll be moving into it in. All right, so wonderful. Now, first off, when you're trying to pre-lease a property before it goes vacant, there's that awkward discussion with the existing tenant. We wanna be able to show the place. So that conversation gets easier when you say, and we have the video walkthrough tour that we created before you moved in, and we won't uh, show the home to anyone until they've already seen the video tour so that we know they're a serious candidate, meaning we don't want to disrupt you for tire kickers. Exactly. Right? So that makes the existing resident feel like, oh, great, I feel more buying into showing. Now, um, it's, it's uh, 2020 and we've just been through this pandemic where uh, virtual leasing has become a little bit more important for some health related reasons. Certainly. And uh, there may be a tenant who doesn't want uh, other people in their home because they have an at risk uh, or a vulnerable person that they're trying to keep isolated. And so another great reason to be able to use these video tours. Now, th that brings up the question, can I do a site unseen leasing transaction based on a video walkthrough tour? What do you think? Uh, we have and we, we do. Yeah. So here's what I've learned. First off, don't try this at home, kids. Yeah, you know, it's up to you whether you do it or not. But if you're open to it, um, keep the distance, the time between the writing the lease virtually and the start date of the lease as short as possible. Because if you do it 30 days out or 60 days out and, and, uh, and the house is vacant, you've just lost a lot of time. Um, so we, we usually say we'll, we'll allow the lease to start in seven days or less mm -hmm. from the time a virtual uh, transaction is about to take place. And then the other thing is, is make sure that you have confidence in your company and in the owner's commitment to making the property look good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, as good as it looked in the video. If you don't have that confidence, don't get out ahead of yourself if you're not confident in the owner's resources or commitment or your own ability to make the property look that way, right? Exactly. And then last but not least, 
sometimes even when we write a lease from a, a normal showing, tenants will change their mind and we have to negotiate a lease termination or a cancellation. Mm -hmm. And so just be prepared to do that. And at our firm, because it's usually such a short period of time that we might have lost, we tell the, uh, the tenant, look, um, you know, we're going to ask you for half of that uh, rent uh, that was lost and the owner will absorb half and we'll refund the balance and move on, put the house back on the market. And most owners and tenants feel like that's a, a reasonable trade-off. Now, this isn't legal advice. Get your own legal advice from your attorney, but we're just sharing with you how we do things at our management company, right? Mm -hmm. And so if this will help you to rent your houses faster, uh, some great insights on how we're doing it at HPM, Home Property Management. Mm -hmm.